Right, we're looking at the solid geometry of this pentagonal pyramid. Um, I think the first thing that we need to do is to find where the center of the um, auxiliary view is so that we can find uh, all the good information about it, the way that we do that. Well, first of all, I know that this is set at that 30 degree angle. I'm going to take a line going up at that 30 degrees over here, straight up over here, okay? Um, and from that, I can take a line going across from that intersection of those two lines, and there is the center of the pyramid. Okay, and I can draw these lines in dark if I wanted to, because where am I standing when I'm looking at this thing? I'll show you now. In two seconds, as soon as I've drawn these lines in dark. There we go. There it is. Okay, where am I standing in order to see this? I would be standing over here, looking in that direction. Whatever I see, I draw on the opposite side of the axis. Right, where's my axis? Well, I'm going to say that my axis is over here. I'm going to put it exactly on the space over here. All right, so I've got an x, y axis over there. Right, once I've got that, um, the next thing to do is to number this. I'm going to label that as number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Right. Apex, I always label that as zero. Number one, I'll find at that point over there. Number two and five, they are not represented on this yet. How do I find that? Well, I'm going to take a line coming from two and from five, place that on that base over there, and I can label this as two and five at that point over there. And I have a line that will go from two down to the apex and from five down to the apex. Okay, which one would I actually be seeing in this case? I would be standing over here, looking in this direction. I'm seeing this line closest to me as two zero. So that dark line is two zero. The other line would actually be the five zero line at least would be done in hidden detail behind that two zero line. Right. Number three and number four, they can be found over here. There's number four and number three at that point over there. Right. Okay, our next thing is to draw the top view of this object. What we're going to do here is we're going to drop some construction lines down. I'm just going to use this blue pencil to represent the construction lines. From there, from there, from there, and from there. Okay. What I always like to say is go and get your apex first. Don't forget that. There's my apex. I need to come down to where my apex is on the diagram over here. I haven't labeled it yet. There's zero. Go down to my x, y axis and place that measurement off over there. There is point zero straight down from there. The distance over here from the x, y axis over here to zero is the same as the x, y axis down to zero over here. Okay, let's go to one. Find one. Drop it down. Number one and point zero, you should find are on exactly the same line over there. So there's number one. Number five, there's number five. Take it down, drop it in there, label it as five. Please use these numbers, it's very important. Number two, find number two, drop it down. It should be on this same blue line as five is. There it is, there's two. Number three and four. There's number four, find four, go down, label it as four. Number three, there's three, take it down here, place it there, there's three. Right, now the big problem is that we have got this cutting plane on here and we need to know what it is that we need to see. Okay, what I would suggest you do is actually physically take this line back from where the cutting plane is cutting through the base of the, um, the pyramid. I'm going to take that back onto my auxiliary view over here. Let me just do that with a purple crown. All right. And you can see that at the base, it's going to be cutting at two places. Let's label those two places as A 
and B. Okay, let's find where A and B are. Well, first of all, if I'm looking down onto the top of this thing, I should be able to see the base. I'm just going to draw it in, in construction lines onto this thing. There it is. Just doing this in construction lines. There's my pentagonal base. And it says that point A is between 5 and 4. Right, let's drop a line down from that, con that cutting plane. Okay, and I can say, well, point A is between 5 and 4. Let's have a look at that. There's point A. If I take my pair of compasses and I measure that, and I come down here, you should find that that measurement is spot on over there. Where's B? B is between 3 and 2. So I come down here, there is B. Okay. Um, then I need to see where, where else it's cutting. You see these lines over here? Note I said these, not a line or the line. There are two lines over here. There is 5, 0 and 2, 0 over there which means that I've got two points on that cutting plane. Let's have a look at that on my diagram over here. On my auxiliary view, if I take this back, taking that back over there, can you see the two lines? There's five, five zero and it cuts there, and two zero and it cuts there. Let's have a look at that idea. I have got, let's call that, um, let's call that C, and let's call that D over there, okay? C is on line two zero. So let's just find that idea. Let's draw lines coming down to the apex, okay? And I can draw, drop a line coming down over here. And you can see over here, there is two zero. And I said that C is on two zero. There is point C. And D is on five zero. Coming down, there's five zero. Coming down to here, there's D. Let's just label that over there. D and C over there. Okay, there's D. And C. Okay, um, <clears throat> what else do I need? Well, I need to know that uh, it's also cutting through this point over here. Um, let's call that point E. Note there's only one line over here, so there's only one point that it can cut. Let's find out where that cuts on this auxiliary view over here. Taking that up. There you go. That would be where E is cutting through. Okay. Let's drop that down onto There you go. And that point over there is where E is cutting through. I could measure that off over here as well. Measure from there to there. If I come down over here, Take that down to the x-y axis, and there is E. Right, once I've got that, I can now go, well, I've got a cutting plane, which goes between B and C, C and E, E and D, D and five over there. I can draw in the back of this that little piece of the base that is still up at the top there, the base of my pyramid. That, and I have got lines that are going to go to my apex. That little piece over there is still part of the drawing. That little piece over there is still part of the drawing, and I've got a small little piece of line which is still in there. I've got hidden detail lines going from three and from four. So hidden detail is going to come in over here and hidden detail is going to come in over here from 
Okay, you can see that those two lines that haven't been cut away or anything, these lines over here coming down, they've been cut away, so I can now hatch in my top view using my 45 degree set square. This should be done with a 0.3 pencil. I'm not going to swap pencils just to save some time. Right, in the following video, I will look at getting the left view of the object or the right view, whichever view they have asked me to do. Right, I think the next one, they say that I need to do a sectional right view. In the next video, I'm going to look at doing that.